Hi, it's Amy, and I wanted to share with you quickly my thoughts. Um, we just wrapped up our convention, and um, full of good feelings and positivity, and just oh, just super excited for the future. And I wanted to share with you why I do what I do, why it is that I work so hard, and why I'm driven so deeply within me. Um, I know I've shared before, but I just my heart is very full tonight and um, feeling uh, super grateful for all that has come into my life because of this. And I got to see tonight and over the last three days, I've got to hear so many stories. Um, I got to see the stage filled with ladies who are at the top status in our company and the stories they tell. Some of them are sim similar to mine, what Unique has done for them, what this opportunity has done for them. And the stories are just incredible. The things that they've been able to have because of this opportunity. And it is what I want to bring to you is the chance to have what it is you're lacking in your life, whether it's time, money, love, purpose, um, anything is possible. And I saw women who had lost themselves find themselves. I heard stories of women who were on food stamps and changed their life completely around. And not only that, they've changed hundreds and thousands of women's lives too. Um, the reason why I do what I do, I do what I do. My main purpose is because it's mainly for my heart. Um, Yes, I would like to become financially free, but what drives me, what fills me, what gets me doing this day after day after day is I feel this sense of purpose deep within me, within my heart, um, to help as many women as I can to learn to accept themselves, and to love themselves. Um, I've always struggled with that. My whole life, a lot of women talked about how as girls, they were confident and they had these big dreams. I don't ever remember having that. And it wasn't any fault of anybody. I'm not blaming my parents or anything like that. It was me. It was just me. I was too much in my own head, too much anxiety and um, just uh, always worried and concerned about things. There's been very few moments in my life when I have lived to my potential, where I have grown and done all that I could. One of those was my mission. And when I served in Argentina for 18 months, I pushed myself hard. I worked hard and I grew and I did everything that I possibly could to help others. And part of it, I think it was because and I even said on my mission, I said, I could never do a sales job. Never. Um, because it's like, it's like going, doing all the hard work I did without the spiritual aspect of it, of seeing people's lives change. But that's because I didn't understand. I didn't know, like so many people, that misconception about direct sales. Because I didn't realize that this is very much like serving a mission. Because I am changing lives. I am helping others. I'm serving women. I am helping them to find products that work for their skin. I'm helping them to find things that help them to feel confident and beautiful. I'm helping them to find purpose in their lives. I'm sharing an opportunity with them that gives them the opportunity to retire their husband. You know how many women were able to do that? I heard so many of them share how their husbands now are home with their children. And all the freedom of time that they now have. And so I do this because of that. I do this to have, to be able to share this with others. Um, this is uh, very personal. And it's, it's very, um, it's a huge part of what I do. Aside from that. My vision has grown. I desire to help as many women as I can. I desire to retire my own husband. I desire to give him the chance to do what he really wants to do without worrying about whether we're going to have enough money to pay mortgage and all the things that we need to do. I desire to be able to help children who have no parents to be able to offer them a place to stay whether it's a foundation that helps to support them because nothing gets me more than seeing a child without a parent to not have someone to love them. And I desire to be able to help those children. And 
I've seen with Unique how much they are helping people, and it is incredible. It's incredible how much money was raised just at convention. $54,000 from presenters was raised at convention. And I desire to do all these good things. So this is why I do what I do. Um, I may seem a little crazy, but I'm not going to stop and I'm not going to give up. I'm going to get better and better and learn more and more skills and help more and more women. And though it may be hard at times, you cannot have great joy in life without going through deep struggles and trials. And I'm grateful for my struggles and trials because they have given me the strength to be who I am today. So just watch out because here I come. Have a great night. Bye.